Okay, so when you get thrown into the heat of a tournament, you know, what's the feelings you get? What happens? Man? Well, uh, I guess it depends on the, uh, the tournament, you know? You walk into it, and depending on the size of it, you, you sometimes either are gonna be in a convention center, or you're gonna be in some guy's garage. And so, it's the same feeling, basically, when you walk in, you have the passion. You've probably been training for a while, so you're probably a little tired from not getting enough sleep. But overall, you're you're gonna have a good time, and you're there because you really like playing the game. But you're also there because you're meeting up with people that you know, you know, new friends that you made through the community, and uh, yeah, it's just a feeling of passion overall when you go in the door uh, and you see all the setups. You're just happy that there are people like you that play the game, and that you get a chance to play with them. My smash tag is Toasty, and, but my real name is Hernan Valenzuela. Super Smash Bros. Melee is a crossover fighting game published by Nintendo in 2001 for the GameCube. The competitive scene didn't arise until 2004, when Major League Gaming sponsored it on its pro circuit till 2007. Then, Evolution Championship Series, a major competitive platform circuit, added the game onto its roster of fighting games to host. As of now, NorCal and SoCal have an established reputation within the Melee community, while SenCal has yet to make a name for itself. My name is Brandon Villarreal. Uh, my tag is Anaconda. I am one of the tournament organizers here in Central California Smash Scene. I actually started to and pretty recently, about roughly around a year and a half. Being a tournament organizer, you always get to see these people every single day. Yeah, you see some new faces, but it's always nice to see like all the familiar faces that you can be around because you almost feel like the more you see them, you feel more connected with them in different ways that sometimes it can't even be explained. I started out at the BRE Game Arena, which was actually over in the River Park area. Uh, BRE Software, which is the place where I work at, uh, we actually used to have a game arena, and we would host uh, not only Smash tournaments, but we would also host like uh, uh, get-togethers per se. Basically, it was just called Community Night. People would just come in, pay five bucks, and they would get pizza and a drink, and then they would all just come and play games and have fun with each other. It was a lot of fun. Due to inconsistency in numbers of people um, attending the event in general, we haven't had enough people to come support it. I mean, I can understand, you know, like there are some older people in the community. They, you know, go to work and have college and stuff, and some things they can't make it out to. And there's even some that are in the younger age group, like even below 17, still in high school. I think they come out either with either be a parent admission or this, it could be anything like middle school that could prevent them. And I understand that, you know, there are times where they can't make it up, but it unfortunately got too inconsistent to where we had to shut it down. I actually still continue to host tournaments back at my house. The past I've had it held there three times so far, uh, we've actually had consistent numbers of at least 30, which is nice. And I'm actually thinking about bringing it back, hopefully, as soon as the uh, school semester goes out in May. So it'll be a lot of fun to see it. I can't wait. My name is Mike Rodriguez, my tag is XOF, and I play Falco in uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee. How, would, how do you see the community in Central Valley? Like, has it been growing or something? It's been a, on the slower side as of recently, but I think we have the most room for improvement. Considering that we're smack dab in the middle of both NorCal and SoCal, at the moment we're not as big as we used to be, but we're kicking, we're still doing stuff, and we're only getting bigger and bigger, such as with our, uh, our newest tournament. Uh, Seven Cal standoff, which was very successful. It was, it was a bit unreal, honestly. I was nervous myself, like, oh man, I hope this works out well. You know, we've got eyes on us. I think melee is incredibly important, especially to Fresno, because out of all the fighting games that are available, I would say melee is in its its own little world. It's the most unique, and it's definitely drawn up the most players, other than Street Fighter. I've always told people Fresno is a Street Fighter melee town. I feel that it's a part of the Fresno FGC identity, a big core part of it. We can be as big as SoCal and NorCal, we just have to try harder. Yeah, thank you so much. You're welcome.